Hello guys, hope you are doing well. We are equally doing great here at the Grace of God. We want to continue from where we stopped the last time. So today, under our world, our people will continue from where we stopped, as I mentioned. So the strand, as usual, is our nation, Ghana. The substrand is being a citizen. So we came to look at the context and that demonstrate good manners at appropriate places. And we looked at what manners were, we looked at the types of manners, and we came to look at some manners that we can put up at various places, especially at home, at school, and at the workplaces. And I remember I mentioned that we are all expected to put up good behaviors or good manners wherever we find ourselves. So, today we want to look at reasons why good manners are rewarded. You see, everybody expects good manners from each and every individual. And for that matter, sometimes we go a step further to even reward good manners. So we want to look at why good manners are sometimes rewarded. When you look at our first point here, we are saying that reward encourages people to do good. Reward encourages people to do good. It's just like when you have a pet in the house, say a dog, then you throw something and ask the dog, to, the dog to go bring it. The dog goes to bring it and you applaud the dog. Or you give the dog a bowl. The next time, it will want to do more. The same applies to us human beings. That when we do something good and we are rewarded for it, then we are encouraged to do more. Remember that a reward is a gift or a present or an award that is given to somebody. So, at the end of our lesson today, we'll look at the various reasons why good manners are rewarded. Then we'll also come to look at the importance of good manners. So, point number two. Reward help boost our confidence. Reward help boost our confidence. Usually when you do something good or when you put up a good behavior and you are rewarded for it, you are proud of it. And the next time you are doing the same thing, you are not afraid. You are 100% sure that you are on the right track and you are doing the right thing. Point three, reward makes people happy. Reward makes people happy. We all know how happy we feel and how excited we are whenever we are rewarded for doing something good or whenever somebody gives us a gift. We are happy. That excitement is what encourages people to do more as far as good manners are concerned. We we'll look at the next point, point four, which says reward promotes good manners. Reward promotes. When we say something promotes, it means that it brings more. So the fact that you are rewarded for doing good manners or for doing something good, then you are encouraged to do more. So we are saying that it promotes good manners. Point number five says it helps promote development in the society. It helps promote development in the society. Yes. When you are rewarded for doing something good or putting up a good behavior, you see that in the society, remember we talked about some good manners in the society. Yes, so some of these good manners, when they are rewarded, or if they are rewarded, it promotes development in the society. Development like cleanliness in the society. Because when you are asked not to dump refuse at a particular station or a particular point, and you don't do it, but some others are doing it, and you are rewarded, for adhering or obeying the law, you see that you are encouraging or you are promoting development and people will also want to pull your lane or copy your act. For that matter, it promotes development in the society. I hope you understand. Good. So, we want to look at the importance of good manners. Now, good manners are very, very important. And for that matter, we cannot do without it in our everyday lives. Let's look at the various importance. Point one, it says that good manners ensure law and order in the society. It ensures law and order in the society. So, when we put up good manners, we ensure, we make sure that law and order is adhered to. We don't break the law unnecessarily. Because breaking the law is a demonstration of bad manners. So good manners ensures law and order in the society. Point number two, importance. It helps us develop good moral lives. 
good manners helps us develop good moral lives. At the end of the day, the more you put out good manners, then you are developing good habits. Good habits. So good manners helps us develop good moral life. Point number three, it encourages hard work. It encourages hard work. Good manners encourages hard work. Everybody likes hardworking people. And hard work brings effective work. So, so long as you are hardworking, you see that good manners encourage or the importance of good manners contribute to our hardworking nature. Point number four. We say it encourages patriotism. It encourages patriotism. What is patriotism? Patriotism simply means commitment and service to the nation. So, good manners encourages people to be committed to the nation, to be loyal to the nation, to be able to serve the nation well. Patriotism. So, you and I need to be good citizens and need to be very, very patriotic. Hence, our main strand, our substrand being a citizen. We need to be good citizens of this nation. For that matter, we need to be very, very patriotic. So, today we looked at the reasons why good manners are rewarded. Then we came to look at the importance of good manners. Very good. So, we will pause here today, then we will continue again another time. Remember to check on the follow-up questions so that you can work on them and forward them to us. We will definitely mark them and let you know how, how well you did as far as the exercise is concerned. Thank you and keep safe.